he won't start your treatment until he's sure Manny Ruiz is dead. Who's Manny Ruiz? One of Sonny's enemies? Um, yeah, he's part of the Miami crime family, and he's a psychopath. He killed his own father. He's after Sonny and Jason, and pretty much everyone involved. How do you do it? What? Live with the constant violence, knowing that any day you could lose Jason. I want to go to Sonny Leaf. Maybe 15 minutes. Okay, I want you to call Michael Morgan's guards, tell him to bring him back right now. You got it. Shoreline Road. I don't know what happened. He fell down. Yeah, he's still breathing. But his nose is bleeding. Please hurry. My, my pills. My jacket. My pills. It's empty. It's empty. Jason, stay away. Please stay away. Don't die. Please don't die. I never used to get scared for Jason. I mean, never, ever until he got sick. I mean, call it some weird kind of denial or whatever it is you want to call it, but when I met him, he was working for Sonny, and I thought he was quite good at what he did, and I never felt any fear of him being killed. I kind of feel like if you live your life waiting for something bad to happen, you're not really living your life at all. You've perfectly described his outlook, though. I mean, even before he was working for Sonny, he was always taking crazy chances. <laughs> he went train surfing, and <laughs> my Uncle Mac arrested him, and I had to bail him out. But Jason, he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. He was just having a great time. Yeah, and um, Jason has a gift for staying in the moment. Sounds like you do, too. Me? Oh, Wow, thank you. I, I mean, I don't know. I never used to. I spent so much time, so much time on my own. And I was always mad at someone or something. And I was always thinking about what I didn't have. And I guess I assumed kindness was for suckers and everyone had an angle. I never really stopped to look at somebody could give without expecting anything in return, you know? And Jason did. Um, ouch. I got pregnant with Sonny's child and he went back to Carly. Jason didn't want the baby to break up the relationship, so he said that he was the father. And that was your idea, right? No, Jason came up with it. <laughs> Jason never used to lie. Well, he still doesn't. Okay, but you just said that he said he was the father of your baby and that it was his idea to uh, say so. Uh, yeah, I know what I said, but you know what? It was a really complicated situation and there are a lot of details that you don't know, but he was protecting Sonny and Carly's marriage and... Yes, now it makes sense. He was protecting Carly. Some things never change. Did did Jason tell you what happened between him and I? I mean, how I told AJ that he was the father? Yeah, yeah, he explained everything to me. Jason and I, we had time last spring. Michael was kidnapped, so we spent a lot of time traveling together. So we talked about our lives and yeah he told me aj was behind that kidnapping wasn't he we didn't realize that until the end that is so sad and so unnecessary you know i knew aj since he was in high school he was always saying the wrong things and throwing his money around 
drinking way too much, making colossal mistakes, and then not wanting to deal with the consequences. I don't really know how he was before, but I, I can say that he got worse as he got older. AJ was always so jealous of Jason. He never got a break. And then he made the horrible mistake of having a one-night stand with Carly. She never wanted him to be her baby's father. She lied to him from the start. And how she got Jason to go along with it, I don't think I will ever understand that. Jason loves Carly. Do you ever ask yourself why? <laughs> yeah, all the time. Well, if you come up with an answer, I would like to know, really, because it doesn't make any sense to me. After the accident, Jason was the sweetest boy I'd ever met. I mean, yeah, he took crazy chances, but he was so kind and generous and compassionate. And somehow Carly got her hooks into him. And I mean, I don't think Carly has ever done one good thing for Jason. Okay, look, if you're waiting for me to defend Carly, that's not going to happen. Because Carly and I do not see eye to eye at all. In fact, we tore a bar apart <laughs> once fighting each other but little did I know she was uh, in the middle of having a nervous breakdown a real one or a fake no one? very 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 real she was committed to a sanitarium in Sinclair Falls so it's real god I had no idea must think I'm a terrible person but no terrible for what being honest Please, I mean, and if I hadn't witnessed myself that she was going through this nervous breakdown, I would think that she was faking it, too. I mean, she lies. She manipulates. She told me that she ran you out of Jason's life. That's not what happened. Oh, so you think you and Jason would still be together if it weren't for Carly? We were growing apart anyway. And I was starting college. I wanted to be a doctor. Jason was working for Sunny. I don't think we had much of a future. But maybe we could have gone on trusting each other. Or like that.